I am going to solve this problem 150. In this problem, it is said that the commercial airliner of problem 286 is re redrawn here with three dimensional information applied, supplied. So, if engine 3 suddenly fails, so here are four engines 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, it says that if engine 3 suddenly fails, determine the resultant of three remaining engine thrust vectors, each of which has a magnitude of 19 newtons, right? So, these uh, 1, 2 and 4 engine produces a 90 kilonewton thrust, right? So, and it is said that specify the y and z coordinates of the point through which the line of action of the resultant passes. And it says that this information would be critical to the design criteria of performance with engine failure, right? So, we are asked to find the resultant and then we have to locate the point of application of the resultant. So, this is the free body diagram that I have drawn here, right? So, this is the positive x axis, this is the positive y axis and this is the positive z axis and I have represented those uh, engine thrust here, right? So, this is 90 kilo Newton, this is also 90 kilo Newton, this green one are the forces, right? Are the thrusts, this is also 90 kilo Newton, right? So, first we will find the resultant of these 90 kilo Newton forces. So, as we can see that all of these thrusts are in the positive x direction and there are no components along y and z. So, the resultant is only the summation of these three forces, right? So, it will be 3 into 90, right? And since they are in the positive x, so we will write i. So, this means that this is 270 i. This is the resultant vector, right? And now we have to specify the point of application of this resultant. So, for that we will find the moment, right, of due to these three thrusts. So, to find the, let's suppose that this is the point O at which we want to find the moment, right. And this problem is that the positive z axis is in the downward direction, right. So, let me write that this is the negative z, right. So, the positive z is in the uh, downward direction, right. So, if, if we want to find the moment due to this, so if we want to find the moment about O along the x axis is right. So, we will observe these forces from this direction, right? And since all these forces are parallel to the x axis, so they will not produce any moment about the x axis. So, this will be equal to 0. And to find the component of the moment about O along y axis, right? So, this will be, so for that we will observe these forces from this direction, from the y axis direction, right? Towards the negative y. So, now as we can see that all of these three thrusts have some perpendicular distance from the y axis, right? So, this perpendicular distance of this 90 kilo Newton force is given, this is 2 meter, right? So, let me write that this distance is 2 meters. Similarly, this distance is also 2 meters and this distance is 3 meters, right? This is given. This is 3 meters, 2 meters and this is 2 meters, right? So, if we observe this 90 kilo Newton force from this direction, so this will produce the moment in this direction, this 90 kilo Newton and if we curl our right hand fingers, so this will be the thumb direction. So, this means that this 90 kilo Newton force is producing the moment in the positive j direction, right, positive y direction. So, what will be that magnitude? So, I will write that this is positive 90 into 2 meters, right. And now, if we observe this, so this force is again producing the moment in the same direction and its perpendicular distance is 3 meters. So, I will write plus 90 into 3, right? And again, it is plus. If we curl our right hand finger, so the thumb will point out in this direction, right? And similarly, if we observe this, so then this will be plus again. This will produce the moment in the same direction like this, right? And this will be 90 into 2, right? And all these moments are along the pause, along the j, so we will write g. So, this will give us the moment, the component of the moment along y, right? So, I will solve it a bit later. Now, to find the moment, the component of the moment along z, right? So, we will observe these forces from this direction, right? From downward direction towards the negative z. 
So again, all these three thrust forces have some perpendicular distance from the z axis and all these three forces are producing the moment about z axis, right. So, if we observe this uh, 90 kN force, so then this will produce the moment about z axis in this direction, right. And if I curl my right hand finger, so my thumb will point out in this negative z direction, right. So, this is the direction of the moment produced by this 90 kN, right. So, I will write minus and this will be 90 into the perpendicular distance. So, this is the perpendicular distance 9 plus 12, right, for this 90, for this fourth engine. So, 9 plus 12 is 21 meters, right. And now, if we look into this 90 kilonewton force, so this will produce the moment about z axis in this direction, right. If this is the z axis, so this 90 kilonewton force will produce the moment in this direction. If I curl my right hand finger, so the thumb will point out in the positive side. So, I will write plus and this will be 90 into this 12 meter distance. This is the perpendicular distance. And again, if we observe this 90 Newton force, so this is again producing the moment in this same direction and the thumb direction will be this. So, I will write plus and this will be 90 and the perpendicular distance of this 90 kilo Newton from this z axis is this 12 plus 9, right. So, again this is 21. So, as we can see that this will cancel out and this is in the direction of z. So, I will write k. So, we will be left with 90 into 12 into k, right. So, let me solve this. So, we will get that moment vector. So, this is the moment uh, produced by these three engine thrusts, right. So, this is moment 630 j plus 1080 k, right. And now, in this problem it is said that specify the y and z coordinates of the point through which the line of action of the resultant passes, right. So, if, if this is our result and this is uh, 270i, right, and this is in the positive x direction. So, if I draw that, so if I represent that resultant somewhere here, right, let us suppose if this is that resultant, right, and this is the point of application of this resultant and this point of application is in uh, y z plane, right. So, this point of application is y z plane, right. So, if, if, if I specify the coordinates of this point, so to reach this point, let us suppose that this point is p, right. So, to reach this point p, we have to travel some distance along the y axis and some distance along the z axis, right. So, let us suppose if I draw a line, so we need to travel this much distance along the y axis. So, let us suppose that this distance is y. And then we need to travel some distance along the z axis to reach this point, right. So, this is that z coordinate, right. So, this means that if I draw the moment arm for this resultant, right. Let us suppose if this is that resultant, this purple one is the resultant, right. So, this resultant should produce the same moment about this point O, right. So, if I draw the moment arm vector for this resultant, right. So, this will be that moment arm vector from this point O to this point of application, let us suppose. So, if we find the moment of this resultant, so that moment will be equal to the moment about O, this moment that we have already calculated, right. So, if we write that this R, the moment arm is from O to P. So, if I write that R O P, this moment arm vector cross that resultant vector. So, this will be equal to the moment about O. So, so if we take the cross product and if we represent this R O P as an as an Y and Z, right. So, if we write the coordinates of this point P, so along X, the coordinates of point P are, so to reach this point P, there is no need to travel along X. So, this is 0 coordinates right and in the y direction we need to travel this y distance. So, we will write y and in the z direction we need to travel this z and that z is in the positive, right. So, our positive z is in is in this direction, right. So, this is the positive z. So, these are the coordinates of p. So, to represent that our o p vector we can write it like this. So, it will be y j plus z k. Right. So, this will be the vector representation of that 
moment arm vector so we will multiply it with 270 i we will take the cross product so let me draw this again so i j and k so if we take the cross product so then this will be 270 into y and j cross i so j cross i will be minus k right so this is minus k and this one so this one will be 270 into z and k cross i so k cross i is j right and this is equal to that moment this moment right so if we write this there this is 630 j plus 1080 k right so now if we compare both of these so this 630 will be equal to 270 z right so 270 z is equal to 630 so z will be equal to 630 divided by 270 so this will give us that z coordinates and similarly we can compare this minus 270y equals to this k term so the magnitude of the k component of this and the magnitude of k component of this will be equal right so we can write here that minus 270 y will be equal to 1080 right so y will be equal to 1080 divided by minus 270 right so if we solve both of these so we will get the y and z coordinates so let me solve so this comes out to be 2.33 meters and this comes out to be minus 4 meter right so this means that the real resultant is acting at this point somewhere here right so this is the point of application of the real resultant right since this is the positive y direction and the y coordinates comes out to be minus 4 meter right so this means that this force this resultant is acting somewhere here right so let me let me draw that in the exact position right So this will be the actual point of application if I draw that so the here somewhere here it will be right and this will be the y distance in the negative y and this will be the z distance right. So this will be minus 4 and this will be 2.33 right. So this is the point of application of this force and we have replaced these uh, three thrust by a single force and this is the point of application of that force. So this is the solution of this problem.